So, version 79 broke resizing windows for side-loaded apps, like the PlayStation Remote app that I'll be going over in this video. This vid will show you how to get that functionality back, how to install the PlayStation Remote app to play PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games on your Quest 2, Quest 3, Quest 3S, and how to install APKs without a PC or phone, or engaging dev mode. So it's a really big video, so let's get started. And there's timestamps included in case you completed certain steps and you want to jump ahead or do whatever you want with the timestamps, you know. First thing you will need to do is get SideQuest. If you already got SideQuest, go ahead and skip to the next section. Start by going to the Meta Store. Download and install Mobile VR Station. Yeah, I figured out how to get Scope Store's actions back. Uh, you know, Meta I got rid of it before, but you know what? Of course I figured it out, I'm Bearski. Now go to Quick Settings. Click on Settings. Go to Privacy and Safety. Click on Installed Apps. Find Mobile VR Station. Click on Release Channels. Change the channel to Old Oculus Channel and click Confirm. Now go to the Meta Browser and search for SideQuest. Click the SideQuest link at the top. Create an account and sign in. Click on the search bar and type SciQuest. Click on the SciQuest VR app. Click on the link beside Download APK directly. When prompted, proceed to the site. Click and download the app-release.apk file. Once downloaded, open the Meta Store again and go to the download page for Mobile VR Station. It should now ask to be updated. Go ahead and click Update. Once updated, open Mobile VR Station. Go to local files, all folders, Android, data, scope storage actions. Click on the one, number one, request access. From here, find the app labeled app-release.apk and click on the quad arrow in the top right of the app. Install SideQuest. Close Mobile VR Station. Now go to Unknown Sources and open SideQuest.
it will ask you to go to sdq.st slash link and enter a code. So go ahead and go do it. Click allow for the permissions prompt within SideQuest. Now with SideQuest fully operational, go search for Lightning Launcher and sideload it. Hey, by the way, thanks so much for watching. Please consider liking or commenting or you could be extra awesome and become a channel member. Close SideQuest. Open Lightning Launcher. Click on Android settings. Click on About Headset. Scroll down to Build Number and spam click Build Number 20 times until it says you are now a developer. Click the Go Back arrow. Go to System. Developer Options. Scroll way down and toggle on the Force Activities to be Resizable option. Close the settings window. Close Lightning Launcher. Open the Meta Browser. Go to Google and search APK Pure PS Remote Play. Click on the first link. Scroll down until you see the versions. Click on Show More and click on the version that is 5.0.0. .0. And there might be a newer version that works, but 5.0.0 .0 is the one that works for me in this video, so I'm going to say this is the one to use. You can experiment with the other ones if you wish. And download the file. Then go back to Google and search for APK Pure PlayStation app. Download the app. It doesn't matter what version it is. I would say the most recent one is the best one you should do. Once both are downloaded, open Mobile VR Station. Go to Local Files, All Folders, Android, Data, Scope Storage Actions. Click on number one, Request Access. Go, make sure that you're in Downloads. Click on the quad arrow for the PS Remote app and PlayStation app to install the apps. You now, can close this section of mobile VR station. It will cause it to crash, no worries. Now you could sign into the PlayStation app and PlayStation Remote app with your normal account for minimal lag. Uh, you will need to connect the PlayStation controller to your headset through Bluetooth, uh, but I would say it's way better if you create a spectator account. Go into your PlayStation and create a new user.
Once done, open the PlayStation app and sign in with the new account info. Open the PS app in unknown sources and sign in with the new ac account. Once sign in, open the PlayStation Remote app in unknown sources and sign in with the new account info as well. Click on the PS Remote app. It will ask you to pair with a code. On the console, go to Settings. Remote Play Connection Settings. Turn on the Enable Remote Play. Click on Add Device to get the pairing code. Open Lightning Launcher in Unknown Sources. Click on the three dots on the top right of the PS Remote app. Click on the drop down here. It should say Open in App Window. Change it to the who the open in huge 16 by 9 window and click confirm. Now once you open it, you'll be able to change the size to whatever you want. It doesn't have to just be stuck to the 16 by 9, but uh, you can now change it as I'm doing here. For some reason, the footage isn't showing in the window. And grats, you are done. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Bear ski out.